you can view and search municipal codes, meeting minutes, and more in the American Legal Publishing Code Library. Let me show you how. The Code Library hosts more than 3,000 municipal codes online. Searching and viewing them is easy. You can access the Code Library from the American Legal Publishing homepage. The Code Library is listed in the navigation at the top of the page. When you click on this link, it will take you to the main page of the American Legal Code Library. The codes are arranged by state. Select a state to see the counties and municipalities in that state. Each municipality has an overview page. The overview page shows how current the code is, the municipality's contact address, and a link to their website if known. From this page, you can view the table of contents for the code, translate the code into another language using Google Translate, and see other information for the municipality, such as previous versions of the code, or meeting minutes, or comprehensive ordinance tables, or new legislation not yet codified. All code displays the same way. You can see the screen is divided into two frames. On the left is the table of contents. This lets you navigate the code by section. If you're using a tablet to view code, the table of contents is still on the left. You can expand it by clicking the arrows. The table of contents expands and contracts by clicking the plus minus signs. You can expand your view from titles to chapters or articles to sections or divisions. Each gives you a more granular view of the code of ordinances. On the right is the text of the code itself. This is where you read the code and access search, share, and other functions. At the bottom of the screen are previous and next document navigation buttons. They let you move through the pages of code. There is also a link for returning to the code library main page. You can also return to the code library main page by clicking on the logo in the top left of the screen. In the top right corner of the website are a variety of site functions. Search, login or account, select language, and resources buttons. Search helps you locate information in the code library. Login helps you create a user account that lets you access all the code library features. It is also where you will log into your account after it is created. Select language lets you translate a code from English into a given language. Translation is powered by Google Translate. Resources takes you to helpful links, including a site map, accessibility statement, and help features. Performing a basic search in the code library is simple. To search for a term across all codes in the code library, search from the code library main page. From the main page, click the search icon. I'm going to search for the word dog now. I do this by entering a search term into the keyword search field. It is better to search for a word or a couple of words than to search using a question phrase. For example, if I want to know what type of leash laws exist, I would not type the entire question into the search field. I would search for a specific word, dog, or the words dog and leash. I want to keep my search terms short and simple. As you can see, results for the word dog returned ordinance codes from various locations. What if I want to see search results for the word dog in a specific municipality's code of ordinances? To find these results, I will go to the specific municipality's overview page, click the search icon, and enter the term dog. This municipality has many ordinance codes that mention the word dog or dogs. See how the search return results for both the words dog and dogs? without me needing to search twice? This is because, by default, an advanced search filter that finds related word stems is applied. Most of the time, this stemming filter will save you time and effort, but it can be deselected from the advanced filter screen at any time. To search for hyphenated words or section numbers, you will have to surround the phrase in quotations. Here is an example. I want to search for a section of code numbered 5.1-1. To return the correct results, I will put this number in quotes so that the search function treats all the characters in the text as one term. The Show Document Excerpts checkbox under the search bar lets you see a snippet of text along with your search result. You can deselect this option or choose a different amount of text to be shown. 
If you see the Advanced Filters badge in the search bar while searching under a specific location, it indicates that one or more of the Advanced Filters have been applied to the search. Word stimming is automatic and does not trigger the Advanced Filter badge. A Code Library My Account will allow you to save searches for future retrieval. This will save you time and effort if you must reference the same code often. The Save button is at the top right of the search window. Creating a Code Library account is fast and free. A tutorial is available online. If you need to switch to a different municipal code to search in, you can return to the main page and navigate to the new code. Or, from the search window, select the new location and select the code you want to search. You can also type the name of the location to search faster. If you need technical support, please give us a call at 1-800-445-5588. Eight, eight, or email us at techsupport at amlegal.com. Thank you for trusting the codification experts at American Legal Publishing.